In filmmaking, there is a gaffer, you've probably heard that term, that person is the head of the electrical department when they make a movie. And in film festivals, believe it or not, there is gaffers. Hi everyone, glad to have you join us today as we welcome my guest, Lauren Reed, to Focus. And of course, I'm your host, Steve Dakota, and I might mention that this is our very first program, so thanks for tuning in. Before we start talking about the film festival, I'd like to give you some background information about Lauren, some things that are interesting to me and I think will be interesting to you as well. Uh, as you might expect, he is, or uh, as you might think, he is a filmmaker, but he's also an actor. He doesn't talk a lot about that, but I saw a clip of him on YouTube where he was playing an inmate who was going to be executed, and it was a very moving performance, so if he ever denies being an actor, don't, don't believe him. He's also very uh, linguistic. He speaks four languages. I only speak one, and I can barely speak that one, but he mm. speaks English, Spanish, Portuguese, and French, and knowing him, he probably speaks Pig Latin as well, and some other languages that I don't even know about. Remember Miami Vice back in the 80s? It was one of my favorite programs. Notice the likeness between him and Philip Michael Thomas. Sometimes mm. when I'm out with Lauren uh, at work, uh, people come up to him and ask him about that. Lauren's also a musician, and he plays guitar and sings, and if you were around Sacramento in the early 70s, there was a concert to help save the Alhambra Theater so the Safeway wouldn't tear it down, and Lauren's band, which was a blues rock band, he played lead guitar in that band, probably sang they were there trying to save the Alhambra Theater, so thank you for that, Lauren. And uh, he's also gifted in athletics. He, uh, back in the day, excelled at basketball and baseball. Baseball was very good to him. That's why he's sitting here with me. And in pursuit of his dream and his artistry and uh, his artistic vision of filmmaking, he's traveled the globe, places that I've never been but hopefully will go someday. He's been to Europe, Latin America, and of course North America. And last but cer certainly not least, he's a uh, Emmy-nominated uh, uh, producer, reporter, and also is a multiple award-winning writer, producer, director. And that Emmy nomination, folks, by the way, was when he worked at Channel 40, both in front of the camera and behind the camera, and he did something about the Special Olympics. So, uh, quite a guy, and he's right here. Thanks for coming to my first program, Lauren. Oh, well, my pleasure. Thank you for having so me. So, before, my pleasure, before we talk about the film festival, Gaffers, let's talk about something that you told me about earlier this year that I find just absolutely fascinating. One of my favorite movies in the last five years is I Am Legend, starring Will Smith. And you told me, in fact, we have a photograph that I think Deb's going to put up here shortly. You actually had breakfast with Will Smith, his wife, at their house in Southern California. How in Lord's name did that come about? How did you do that, and why did you do that? What were you doing there? Well, first of all, I feel honored to be here, so I want to thank you uh, for the opportunity um, to be here and feel humbled uh, to be here, particularly uh, since I'm a good fan of you and uh, everything that you do uh, on the screen, including the the Haiti telethon that you mm -hmm. did a remarkable effort so to me it's a pleasure to be here but uh, we are legend that's what I called it <laughs> on my Facebook good name and <laughs> um, I was uh, uh, honored and uh, uh, privileged uh, to be in the in the likes uh, of, of those folks uh, I was accompanying uh, Robert uh, Guillaume a uh, two-time Emmy Award uh, winner wow. uh, also a four-time NAACP winner mm -hmm. uh, uh, Grammy winner uh, so you talk about the multiple talent stuff like that. Um, we were there um, along with uh, Shirley Calloway from Color at Success, a phenomenal news show that really highlights uh, the achievements of folks there. So we were there um, uh, having breakfast. I think I had uh, a little bit of turkey sausage, some eggs, had a chance to meet uh, um, his children, which I've uh, never officially met, but I've covered during a lot of different events in, in Los Angeles, but sat there uh, for a meeting. Um, talked about creative energies, talked about uh, uh, different things to put forth to people and uh, Will Smith, just a very uh, humble, professional, multi-talented uh, um, artist uh, along with uh, his beautiful wife Jada Pinkett. Uh, their kids were getting ready to go to school so we, we chatted with them just before they went to uh, just before they went to school and we talked about their trip to, uh, to Beijing and also um, the fact that uh, they were getting ready to fly out to Oslo, Sweden um, where Barack Obama, our president, was going to receive the Nobel Peace Prize. So we had a lot to talk about that expanded uh, a variety of different things, but it started off with the creative arts, talked to about Gavras, Color and Success, and some of the wonderful programs that him and his uh, children and family are in, but expanded to some very rising heights. 
Here in Sacramento, we'll go over and now talk about the film festival and, and filmmaking and things like that. Of course, uh, Ron Cooper here at Access Sacramento, he has a place called Sacramento Film Festival. Then there's uh, Marty Anaya, who used to work here as a matter of fact. He has the Sacramento Film Festival. I, I noticed on the internet sometimes they call it the Sacramento International Film Festival. That's the second festival we have here in Sacramento. And then, you know, both of us know Nate Schemmel. He's got the Sacramento Film and Music Festival. And I was looking online before we did this program today, and there, at least now or in the past, there was one, uh, a black film festival, a horror film festival, French and even, even gay. So it seems as though, past and present, there are or have been a lot of film festivals here in Sacramento. I'm not going to ask you why, because as far as I'm concerned, the more film festivals, the better. But I want, what I want to ask you about is, how does your film festival differ from all these others? And there's one word, it's a key word that I want to focus on, and that is experience. What is the experience of the, of the Global Art Film Festival? Well, thank you for asking. And just to be mentioned in <coughs> excuse me, the same name as uh, those other um, uh, film festivals, uh, particularly a place called Sacramento that is very fond of my art, because that's where I live. Um, is is just uh, tremendous uh, um, to me, but uh, experience is, is the key word uh, for uh, our niche, if you will. Um, Sacramento's blessed, and the people of Sacramento, as, as well as others that share uh, uh, festi uh, festivities uh, with film, uh, are blessed to have such a buffet, if you will, of film festivals. Our niche there really deals with experience, creative arts, and in a way, I look at it as our group. Um, and myself as being the ambassador um, to um, uh, Sacramento's arts community, so Sacramento's arts work, and being able to share that with people uh, in Sacramento, throughout the United States, and abroad. Um, and again, um, the niche is really uh, experience, um, uh, both online, uh, in person, um, and the camaraderie of uh, a festival experience. Uh, we've been blessed to have people fly in um, from a variety of countries, and, and you mentioned some earlier too, um, Germany, uh, uh, Jamaica, uh, even a, a, a filmmaker from Haiti a couple of years ago. Um, for them to experience Sacramento, and, and we are so fortunate and blessed to share our Sacramento talents and, and let them know about uh, the festivities and the other arts, and just people in general, uh, uh, that's the global experience for arts and it's the human experience and uh, we take great pleasure and pride in presenting and uh, and love catching all the other festivals including the Jewish fest, uh, film festival that's amongst the one, other ones that, that you mentioned there so um, uh, love that and and have taken a little bit of the best of all of those and taken that and shared that with not only people that come to our festival but with people all over the world let them know this is the kind of ilk this is the kind of experience, this is the kind of commitment to the arts um, that we have uh, here in our capital city. Very proud of it and very uh, proud to share um, our human experience here in the capital city. The why is always important to me no matter what we're talking about in life. And when you and I were talking recently, we were talking about, uh, some people call it world music. Um, and I think there's uh, maybe a relationship or a parallel between world music and the Global Art Film Festival in terms of when Lauren Reed got up one day probably maybe eight, ten years ago, and said, I want to start a film festival. So, so in your own words, why did you want to start the Global Art Film Festival back then? Uh, well, myself uh, and my partner, Raphael Smith, the vice president there, um, we were helping many others with their film festivals, as well as many um, award shows. Um, and uh, I uh, was mentored and, and, and helped out a very, by a very special person here in Sacramento called Vonnie Hilton Sweeney. Those in the Music and Entertainment Award uh, world uh, probably know her name from um, handling people like James Brown, uh, Patti LaBelle, and having friends in the, in the entire entertainment industry. So uh, taking a cue from her, she was always putting me in touch with uh, other celebrities and, and people that had a sacramental connection that was very special to her. Um, so not only working American Music Awards, Soul Train Awards, Grammys, and, and, and NAACP Image Awards, gave me the opportunity to see um, a lot of the multi-ethnic, mm -hmm. multi-racial, multi-cultural, mm -hmm. and other type of vibes and, and themes and flavors that are out there that I thought that our audiences would love to uh, digest. I thought there was a hunger and, and a need for that. So I was just uh, thrilled to work with uh, our group and have our organization um, quicken some of those flavors, sprinkle those flavors in there. Um, 
part of our uh, Global Art Film Festival experience of Repertory of Sacramento, that's what the acronym GAFFER stands for, is a repertory component. And we work with folks of, of, uh, of all ilk and of all uh, different multi uh, multidisciplinary arts. Um, we're blessed to have someone uh, that we're showing the works like uh, 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 Cynthia Gatlin, who, who did this uh, remarkable piece on uh, playing a, a, a death row inmate. Right, and you brought a clip on that, right? Yes, exactly. yes, yes, mm -hmm. uh, just from one out phenomenal. But a little bit about Cynthia uh, Gatlin, I mean, you're talking about uh, over 30 years of theatrical, multi-award uh, winning uh, theatrical performer, grew up and p performed in the Michael Benjamin era, and he was, uh, in 1966, he'd been at Sac City doing, since 1966, doing uh, uh, theater and stuff. Um, so having people of that ilk to, to express and, and come to a new genre and, and, and a new means, a new discipline, if you will, filmmaking, Cynthia did just an extraordinary uh, a job. I'm the AF. You requested? I kind of figured that was you. Nobody calls me Miss Maddie around here. I'm just another W number. Well, I got your inmate request slip, so uh, I came to check out your work. From what they tell me on the yard and some of the staff here, it's pretty good. What do you think of my pencil work? You did all of that with just your pencil? I'm impressed. What do you think of my angel, Miss Cleo? That's gorgeous work. I like them legs, too. You know they're going to kill me, don't you? I'm sorry. You know what for? Miss Maddie, I don't read everybody's case file. You know, I have no idea of what, what some people are in here for. I'm over here to create. I'm over here to help people create. So I don't know. See Cleo? She's my angel. She comforts me. She's so soft and warm. She keeps all the pain away. <laughs> Band-aids. <laughs> they won't let us have anything sharp in here. So I have to put her up with band-aids. Well, if you want, Miss Maddie, I can check with the captain and see if I can bring over some other materials that uh, will fit in over here. And I mean, this is really good work, and I think you deserve it, and the work deserves it, and I think they'd be proud to have it, you know, so. I love her. They said I killed a man, but I didn't. We was all drinking, having a good time at our old water and hole. There was a white man there drinking with us. I blacked out. Next thing I knew, everybody was gone. There was a dead man there and the police. What do you think of my art? Particularly under these conditions, I am supremely impressed. Now all these people, they want to they wanna buy it because they know what's going to happen to me. You think I'm guilty? <laughs> Come on. You think me and Cleo guilty? Tell me what you think. Come on, tell me. Think I did it? <laughs> Talk to me. You think I did it? <laughs> do you believe in the death penalty? Do I believe in the death penalty? No. 
I don't believe anybody has a right to take anybody else's life. Not unless they got a holy halo over their head. Last time I looked, nobody I've seen around has a halo. I want to donate this to the Art and Soul Festival. I want the kids to see this. I want the world to see my art. And I'm going to give it to you. This is the only thing I have, and I'm going to give it to you for that festival. And I want people to see what I did. You think I'm guilty? I don't care what any of you think. I want you to take this, and I want you to show it to people, to the children. I'm going to give you my Cleo. You take good care of her. I want you to find that little girl, about five or six, hair all crazy and messed up, running around in the neighborhood. Mama and Papa don't care about her, if she got any. Nobody cares about her. That's the little girl that I want you to show my Cleo to so that they know they have a future. That's who I want you to share her with. Those little kids with raggedy dresses and crazy hair and they're out in the streets all times of day or night and nobody cares about them because they've been thrown out there with the garbage. I want you to bring them to that art and soul show, and I want you to show them Cleo so that they know there is the future. They know that there's something out there they can do. And you tell them, you tell them that I cared about them. You tell them that I made Cleo for them. And that I didn't do it. I'm not guilty. And they're going to kill me. They're going to kill me. Maybe I should give this to your family or something. I mean, <laughs> my family? Oh, they gave up on me a long time ago. You know why they gave up on me? Because they couldn't take it. <laughs> I've been in here five years and they couldn't take it. Me on death row, and they couldn't take it. So you gotta go find her for me. Please, please find her. And she's gonna be free, and she's gonna be happy, and she's gonna have babies, and she's gonna be in love with somebody that's good for her, but she won't be here in death row. <laughs> please find her. <laughs> Do you know? the difference between revenge and justice? <laughs> You're looking at revenge, but there's no justice here. You take Cleo. She'll help you find her so that she can grow up and be okay. And that for her, there will be justice. 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 Thank you. She'll make a worldly inspiration for all the young kids. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You take Cleo. Goodbye, Miss Ella. Goodbye, Cleo.
know. Goodbye. You're talking about others like Jen Gotson, one of our repertory group of Southern California. She portrayed Nixon's daughter in Frost Nixon. But you'll see her here in, in a movie we did called All Heart and Soul, portraying some just great action there. Uh, we've had people like uh, Dion Taylor, who provided our sound for our first movie, Backbone. His mom, Val Taylor, uh, played in Tyler Perry's movies. This repertory that we get a chance to uh, bring people in is, is really to teach, inspire, and really uh, elevate audiences, and really inspire not just the arts, but the humanness uh, of us all, the humaneness and humanity. And I feel privileged, I feel humbled to work with people like that. Um, and these are, uh, like I said, uh, things that I learned from people like Bonnie Hilton Sweeney, uh, Edward James Olmos, uh, collaborate on a variety of different things with him, and, the, and those types. So it's just uh, a great experience. So going back to uh, the beginning of, of this last question, it, in terms of world music and Global Art Film Festival, it's the multi-ethnic aspect that, that inspired you or motivated you to move forward with a global it. look the global the global world we look uh, that we live in um, um, today many people are waking up and, and others are reawakening to the fact uh, that uh, you know we do live in, in a global community uh, I think our president Barack Obama has helped inspired and opened up eyes uh, to folks uh, let people know uh, uh, just how our, our, our world is composed of you know so that uh, myself uh, you look at someone here you're looking at someone african-american look at someone mixed with French Blackfoot Indian uh, up from Montana um, uh, with a variety of uh, other mixtures and sprinkled in uh, the 31 flavors of Baskin Robbins and, and that's what our world is today, particularly if you live in California. Um, so um, it, it was important to um, showcase some of those, uh, those ingredients and those components that are in all of our lives and, and a chance to do that and to bring artists from overseas here and then to bring Sacramento's works and share it over there in Rio de Janeiro. Costa Rica, uh, different parts of Mexico, um, just to name a few, uh, France, and then visiting other festivals like Cannes, a place called Sacramento, Sacramento Film Festival and, and International Festival, mm -hmm. just, just a treat and really showing, sharing and saying, this is Sacramento, this is some of the things we do, we're a great people um, and we have great talent and it's just a, a pleasure to uh, showcase that to the world. 2010. Gaffers, uh, you're going to be in what Elk Grove, California, coming up real soon, right? Yes, sir. Uh, next month, May. Yeah, uh, last year uh, and again this year, well, we'll uh, focus. Uh, one of our um, uh, venues will be uh, Elk Grove, and it's at the Elk Grove Nonprofit Network Center. And you can always check our website at gaffers.org uh, to find out more. But that's uh, at the end of May. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll also feature a, a, a presentation in June in Dallas for the first time as we collaborate with the Dallas uh, uh, Arts and, uh, uh, and Film Festival group. Um, uh, we just finished doing Atlanta and uh, I want to thank Raphael Smith for doing a fantastic job in Atlanta uh, with his uh, Christian comedy entertainment and his whole group there as they presented uh, entertainment as well as films. So um, a lot of um, uh, great stuff for people to catch and we invite them to go online and and uh, give us some comments and some ideas and suggestions as well. The festival is open to the public and I know you have a film category, a script category. Um, anything else we should tell our audience about uh, entering their films or their scripts into the competition? Well, um, most of the guidelines are there uh, online. Uh, we pride ourselves in having no entry fees for any type of artist type of uh, uh, um, uh, competition or showcasing of, of their uh, project uh, with the exception of late entry. If you get late entries then there's going to be extra fees attached to that for obviously obvious reasons. Um, but uh, entertainment is always a big uh, component and we had Amy, Amy and uh, her great hula group uh, out there and they did a fantastic job mm -hmm. at Elk Grove last year. But we like to feature a lot of the, the young filmmakers, young and emerging, um, a lot of youth and community that are involved with entertainment. In fact, one of them uh, that uh, saw your show was talking about. They said, that guy looks like Russell Crowe. You know him? I said, that's Steve Dakota. I yeah. wish I had his money. <laughs> I've got, I, uh, I'm not going to point it toward the camera, but I've got a copy here of the homepage for gaffers.org. Mm -hmm. And it says, as you sort of just said, presenting new and emergency, I can do an emergency. I'm having an emergency right now. Presenting new <laughs> and emerging screen, screenplay writers and filmmakers. So uh, I guess the key there is emerging, right? Yes. 
Okay, and uh, might also add when you look at this, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, go to gaffers.org as Lauren said, and it kind of looks like an album cover for Santana Abraxas. Remember that album? Maybe you can use this for Abraxas <laughs> too. So it's gaffers.org, triple W gaffers.org. Uh, email would be gaffersfestival at hotmail.com, correct? Gaffers uh, Festival at Hotmail.com. Hot, uh, hotmail and then real quickly, just like to say mm -hmm. that um, it's also supported by our family and friends. Okay. Uh, everyone from, uh, uh, we always uh, provide uh, uh, complimentary uh, refreshments and stuff. And we got people like uh, Liz and Mike Telez that, that cook, uh, my wife Liz and the other family of servers. So it becomes a fa family atmosphere for the youth and community. And there's no charge. Uh, you know, at times we take donations, but there's no charge. Mm -hmm. And I went to the festival last year, and you even had a, a little bit of acting with uh, uh, a dramatic presentation. There yes, well, right? we, we uh, improv. integrate improv. theatrical improv mm -hmm. as well. Yes, we try to uh, showcase a little multi, multi uh, all disciplines, if you will. You know, whether it's whether it's visual, whether it's uh, literary, media, or performing artists. We want to give you a little taste of that because there's so much talent here in Sacramento. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's all the time we have for now. Our guest has been Lauren Reed, director and founder of the Global Art Film Festival. I'm Steve Dakota. Until next time, thanks for joining us. It's a beautiful baby boy. Mama. Mama promised me something. What is it, honey? If anything happened, promise me you take good care of my baby. Mama, promise me, Mama. Promise me you'll give him a good education like you gave me, Mama. Promise me, Mama.